What is going on guys, it's 269 here with another Destiny gameplay video for you today. And last night on the beta, which most probably, I don't know when this video is going out, would have been a while ago, but I was actually able to go and explore the moon. So this is pretty cool, the moon, moon looks absolutely beautiful. I think it actually looks better than Earth, even though it's kind of drab because this is grey, but like most shooters, uh, ha -ha. but the moon had a secret area if you actually split off from the mission that Bungie gave you and you kind of started exploring within that mission zone then you could find this secret area well not secret area but unaccessible area just with a bunch of enemies called Hell's Mouth so it looks like we're going to be doing missions here in the full game but the where I'm exploring at the moment didn't have any enemies um, or mission objectives it had enemies but not missing objectives for us to do but I just wanted to go exploring and see what was up with the moon and I found this pretty cool area and it was creepy man I was going deeper and deeper in there and it was just getting so so creepy there was like sounds and people screaming and, and the names of the areas were kind of creepy anyway because it's called like summoning pit and then circle of bones and stuff like that so it's really creepy in this place and it looks to be a hive mother base kind of installation at one point i got to a section where it was open and it was in the central circle and there was like ships warping in below the ground surface actually just making time uh travel portals they're not time travel portals but warp portals and sub place subspace slip streams as they would say in the middle of the moon to teleport new guys in which looked absolutely crazy uh these hive ships coming in and just dropping off new guys there was also uh ogres down there if you've played any of the earth sections and you know that those ogres are kind of beastly creatures that you can't kill on earth but i was actually able to take them down there was also uh free kind of loot around just hanging around that i was able to uh grab here and there so yeah guys watch this video check it out and see what's uh, going on on the moon i highly recommend that you watch it majority of it all the way through and then you'll see that there's some cool structures and some versatility in the different uh, environments that we're going to be exploring during destiny and variety in terms of what is going on because you can see that this structure kind of looks like a human structure but it's uh, completely different in terms of like kind of a like gothic kind of inspiration I guess but it looks nice the lighting looks great so yeah definitely check out this video and like it uh, don't forget to subscribe to Eric's Gaming for daily gaming videos and throw a comment on what you think and where your favorite kind of planet's going to be I think I'm kind of leaning towards Venus in terms of what I like but I most probably will like the moon as well and I'm interested to see what other areas they have to explore so there's a news article or something's come out today saying that there's only one area per um, per planet which is personally something that I'm disappointed with. I don't know what you guys are like if you're disappointed with that. I was hoping for a bigger game, more sections per planet, something that would be tasty and something that I can really, really get into in terms of that variety. But there seems to, there still seems to be a lot of variety within the areas that we do have. As you can see here, I've gone from the moon surface to some crazy underground base in the middle of nowhere that looks like an arena or a coliseum or something anyway guys i'm out i'm 269 don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel
have a scope that you can look down and you can aim in our sights with. There are...